Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff Stanley and today we're gonna to be talking about the new Apple AirTags that just came out a couple weeks ago. And if you're unfamiliar with what an Apple AirTag is, it is a tracking device that connects up to your iPhone so you can locate items around your house or in your area. Now Apple's been talking about these for quite some time and it's not a product that I was really itching to get, but once I saw them come out, saw a couple videos out there talking about them, I figured I'd give it a shot, especially since I have items that I don't wanna lose, such as my keys or a camera bag. And of course, being a big Apple fanboy, I figured I'd buy some of these and we'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and open, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around, we'll flip these open, see how easy it is to set them up, connect them, and we'll try to find something. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop these open and we'll take a look. I have not done anything with these yet. I literally got these yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and pop these open and we'll see how easy it is to set these things up. Inside the box, we've just got the two little manuals. We will not need that, set those aside. And that is pretty much it right there, nothing else to it. And then here, it says to go ahead and set the phone down and place this just to the side and it should automatically pick it up. Hear the little sound there picking it up. It's gonna make me do a software update. I guess I probably should have checked that. All right, so after a long update, we're back. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and set these up. That's pretty nice, it pops right up. Hit connect, flip through the names, see what we wanna call this one. And this one is gonna go in my camera bag, so we're gonna go ahead and name it camera. <clears throat> Register the ID. And that is it. Precision finding, play sound, view in find my app. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up this other one. Test these out a little bit. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up this second one. Go ahead and name this one. I have no idea what I'm gonna put. Uh, let's do keys on this one. We'll set this up. All right, again, so pretty straightforward. And if we go to find my app, okay. And if we zoom in on this one, we can see, well, you can kind of see it. It's got the camera and the key on there. So you can tell which one you're searching for. We're gonna go ahead and set these down and then we'll use the find feature. All right, so if we wanted to go through and find the camera, which is in the house, I went ahead and placed this in the other room. So we're gonna go ahead and hit find. It says signal is weak which I'm kind of surprised it's showing signal is weak because it's literally about 50 or 60 feet away from me. And we can play the sound. And of course we can hear it.
try to find this again. Okay, so it picked it up and <clears throat> it dropped it again. And it is literally on the counter over there. All right, so follow the arrow. It's not incredibly accurate. It's telling me if, like if I was outside right now, it's literally straight ahead and it's telling me to go over this way, which I can't do. Okay, so it did find it. Not as easy as I thought that was gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these in the garage. And we're gonna go to we're gonna go inside the house and see if it picks either one of them up. Okay, so I've got those in the garage. They're literally through that door right there. And I'm gonna go and see if I can find either one of these. And again, it says connection weak. It says connected signal is weak. Try moving to a different location. Uh, that's a little odd considering they're not that far away. But let's go ahead and get a little bit closer, see what happens. So I'm actually in the garage now. It does say it found it 19 feet away. Now, if that was actually located in the house somewhere, that's that's not the best thing. That's not really what I wanna see coming from these. Okay, so this is my candle area. This is where I shoot all my videos for making candles. I'm about 14 feet away and it finally popped up that they're sitting right over there. But I guess that's not a huge issue because it does show me that it's in the house. So if I did lose these outside or somewhere in the house or if I was in the area, I mean, it would definitely tell me where they are. And again, nine feet ahead. And it, Again, it's still, now it shows five feet ahead and it does point to them straight ahead right there. But if I move back a little bit, move back enough to lose signal. And then once I start walking up on them again, So I'm a little bit closer, but again, it's a little bit closer on the arrow this time and it does pick them up. All right, so that's kind of a quick setup and a test on these things. Now I do like these quite a bit, but they definitely have some limitations and I'm gonna play around with them a little bit more and probably do a follow-up video after I've used these for probably a couple weeks to a month or so. Now I think the possibility with these are pretty good. You can do a lot of stuff with them and I haven't tested anything like the lost function, which if you were to lose your camera bag in a car or in another building, you can basically go into your phone, tell them that you lost these and the AirTags will send out a signal to anybody else that has an iPhone within range. Now I've seen a few other videos talking about these and I'm definitely not sold on the lost function of these yet. I really don't know how well that's going to work out. People talking about tracking with these things. And of course, the biggest thing is it almost seems like a scavenger hunt for somebody else. If you walk into an area and this is why I want to test these for a couple weeks and actually test out the lost function. These almost seem like a treasure hunt for somebody else if you were to lose something. So if I left my camera bag in another building, in a car, on the train, anything like that, I've never ridden a train. I don't know why I would use that as an example. If somebody were to be in the area with an iPhone next to your bag, it would throw out a signal letting them know that an AirTag has been located. Now, of course, if this does happen, you're hoping you run into a very honest citizen who is not just gonna say, holy crap, I found a camera. They're gonna see the AirTag and try to alert somebody that they found your item. So I guess that's my biggest concern with the lost function on these. Uh, I don't know that that's gonna come into play too much. I mean, I've never really left anything of significant value and I hope 
hope that doesn't happen, but I will place these in a bag just in case something like that does happen because it just gives you that one extra chance or that one extra shot of relocating and finding something that you do lose. And I guess when it comes down to it, having this in the bag as opposed to not having the bag, I would much rather have one of these in the bag. The other thing I wanna play with a little bit more is the find function. I didn't really think the find function was that great on this one. You can see on the video, I was, I was probably 14 or 15 feet away before it actually recognized and started showing me the arrow. Uh, to me, that doesn't seem like a real big benefit. I mean, obviously, it's gonna help you locate something like keys or anything that you may have lost in a couch or in a jacket and put it in a closet, who knows. But to get to that point, you're still going to have to search for it without these things until you get in range or at least close enough to where you can start finding it with the arrows. And like I showed you in the video, I had one of these sitting in the garage and I was inside the house. And if I'm inside the house and I didn't realize that I left my keys in the garage, it's really not gonna give me too good of an idea. I mean, it does show me on the map that it's in the house, so at least there's that. But aside from that, if you had like a kid or something like that, and they took your keys maybe to an area that you never go to, you may not know to go to that room to really search for your keys. And obviously that's a wild example, but that's exactly what I'm thinking with these is, if you were to drop one of these in a room and you had to go through and pick up your phone and try to locate these, it might be a little difficult until you just happen to walk in range. But again, I just got these. I've been using them literally for the length of this video, so maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna give these a couple weeks. I'm gonna set them around the house. We'll try a couple different things. And of course, get into the functionality of these things and go through and set up the tags so that if somebody does locate one of these, it shows them my name, phone number, address, or whatever it's gonna give somebody if they stumble upon one of these. But like I said, this is a very quick look at the AirTags. I'm gonna go through, test a lot more of these. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you are using some of these and I missed something as far as features on this one, please let me know again in the comments down below. And of course, if you like the video, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and thank you for watching.